Hey friends, welcome back to Prophetic with Suzanne. I have a word tonight for somebody and I'm going to read a little bit out of Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. O Lord, you brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, but his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So what I'm hearing for somebody is that your weeping season is over. It's over. He has brought you through some things. He brought you out of that bed of affliction, that bed of sickness, whatever tried to take you out. He brought you up from that. He lifted you up. He healed you. And he says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It's time for your joy to come in the morning. It's time in the name of Jesus that good things are coming. He's not done with you yet. He is not done with you yet. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight, but I'm talking to somebody. He's not done. He's not done. He says, rise up. Weeping is over. It endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And he's saying, make room. If you're still alive and breathing and you're doing good, he still has things for you. You, you still have purpose. He's got great purpose for you. So with that joy, he's saying, make room. It's time to make room. Don't stay down. Don't stay stuck. Get up. Make room for him to come and do a new thing in your life. No matter where you are, he can do a new thing right where you are. Right there where you are. So whoever you are, I just bless you tonight and just be expecting your joy to come in the morning. Expect your joy to be full. Expect gladness to come and overtake you, a spirit of thanksgiving and praise. Sometimes we forget where he brought us from. We forget the pits he pulled us out of, the dark places, the dark seasons. But arise and shine for his light has come. I just pray blessings over you tonight. I pray that you receive this word. Receive this word. You don't have to weep anymore. It's time. It's time to rise up in the joy of the Lord. It's time to rise up in new things and know that he's not done with you yet. There is still good things. Your best days actually are ahead of you. Your best days. Your very best days. And I just pray, whoever you are tonight, I bless you. I bless you with favor. I bless you with strength. I pray that God would strengthen your body, strengthen your mind, strengthen your heart, strengthen you from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. I pray even right now that you're feeling the power of the Almighty God flowing through your veins right now. Right now that His presence would just come and strengthen you strengthen you and help you to rise up in that joy that joy that's coming in the morning i don't know whose morning it is but it's somebody's your joy is coming in the morning and god's going to do a new thing and you're going to have a testimony you already have a testimony but you're going to have another one because he's brought you through something he's brought you through some things don't look back look ahead it's not over. If you're living and breathing, it's not over. There's a breakthrough that's happening in your life even now. There's restoration. There's healing. There's great things. There's great things. Rise up, my friend. Rise up in the name of Jesus and grab hold of what God wants to do in your life. Grab hold of this word. Just let it soak in. Go and read Psalm 30 read it and speak it over your life that your joy is coming in the morning that favor is for life it's for life in the name of jesus
He is a good, good father. And he loves you. He loves you right where you are. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. I feel excited tonight. I feel excited that somebody's getting a breakthrough. Even now, somebody's getting a breakthrough. Somebody's getting a breakthrough. So praise God. Praise the Lord. Know that he is for you and not against you. God is for you. He's for you in the name of Jesus. He is for you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Read Ephesians 1. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You're chosen. You're adopted by God. You're a child of God. Your life has been redeemed in the name of Jesus. So let your joy be full. I love you guys. I thank you for watching and liking and subscribing. And I'll be back soon. Bye.